St. Louis Public Schools are just 21 days away from this year's opening, and the district is facing serious challenges after the suspension of the superintendent. New at 6, Fox 2's Patrick Clark reports the district is facing major issues, including a budget deficit. In the city of St. Louis, school starts August 19th, and questions are swirling for many. This after the sudden departure of the St. Louis Public Schools superintendent. Keisha Scarlett left one year after she started, placed on paid leave with just weeks before the start of the year. It may have something to do with spending, hiring, and busing issues. Scarlett oversaw a budget that went from a $17 million surplus to a deficit of $35 million. As a union, we understand how due process works, and everybody deserves due process in the United States of America, and Dr. Keisha Scarlett as well as anybody else. So there's an investigation going on. Tuesday, the union representing nearly 2,000 teachers, safety officers, counselors, social workers, and tradespeople speaking on some of the woes facing the SLPS, but excited for the new hires at a new teacher fair, the 11th year of a partnership between the district and the union. Of course, like everyone else, we have some concerns about what may or may not have happened with spending on the 10 to 20 people that Dr. Scarlett brought in, but that's not in our purview right now. It's only 20 days to the opening of school and we have to prepare for that. Deputy Superintendent Dr. Millicent Borishade is serving as acting superintendent. The district's transportation plan is online, which includes changing start, dismissal times at some schools, the use of public transit, consolidating bus stops, and strategic routing. Parents who are already driving their kids to school are asked to opt out for the district's bus service. A bus driver shortage has been an ongoing issue. But despite all this, the American Federation of Teachers St. Louis Local 420 optimistic about the school year. We look forward to moving forward and we think the district is in good fiscal shape. Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.